ISHM Kolkata presents Edu Netflix The one-stop hub for many exciting, entertaining, yet educational videos. For never-ending interesting knowledge, please do not forget to subscribe to our very own YouTube page and do not forget to click on the bell icon for upcoming updates. Welcome back dear students to ISHM Edu Netflix. This is me again, Abhishek Dattaroy, welcoming you all to yet another very exciting topic. Today we are going to discuss something very very interesting. Scotch whiskey. Now, if you look up Google and type in the word Scotch whiskey, you would get a very clear definition. Scotch whiskey is malt whiskey or grain whiskey made in Scotland. Scotch whiskey whiskey must be added in a manner specified by law now as of 2018 there are 133 scotch whiskey distilleries operating in scotland we should all remember that scotch whiskey was originally made from malted barley but if we look at uh, the saying of a very famous japanese author haruki murakami he once said Whiskey is like a beautiful woman. It demands appreciation. You first appreciate its beauty by looking at it and then you drink it. This basically means that to make a glass of scotch whiskey, a lot of effort, a lot of finesse and a lot of uh, detail goes inside. So let us have a deep in-depth look of how scotch whiskey is made. Scots, uh, Scotland uh, or Scots have been making whiskey for centuries now and they excel and it's a tradition which is refined over the years of generation of skilled mass so that every drop may be give a single malt blend. The liquor is served in a small, it serves as a small glass of history which makes its own rise and it will surprise you for that such a complex drink has only three ingredients malt whiskey and water malt barley and water first the barley is malted by being steeped in water then it is spread out to help it sprout and germinate producing the sugars that will turn it to alcohol with their own and the fire in the peat which gives it the smoky flavors found to the varying degrees in the final whiskey the kilns have the traditional hallmark of a pagoda shaped chimney and which is the hallmark of a scotland chimney once the hot water is mixed in with the mash tun to create what the sugary non-alcoholic liquid foundation for malt whiskey the real magic begins when the water is transferred to the large vats known as wash and max yeast is then added to kick start a chemical reaction to watch the strength of the alcoholic liquid the cold wash is then traditionally gets distilled into the large distinctive copper stills that actually send the alcohol vapors to the swan neck of the condensing pipe by cold water which runs around it <coughs> and then then it goes to the spirit sip which is kept locked for customs to make sure every drop is distilled, the seller is unable to drink or taste the alcohol. So, it is at this point that actual skill comes in. The maker has to judge by the sight alone to separate the high quality of the spirit to a lower quality of the spirit. Now, once the sterilization and the differentiation is complete, each spirit is poured into casks and now it's time for the hardest part, the waiting. Whiskey is matured in bourbon or sherry oak casks for a minimum of three years before it to be legally called scotch. Many whiskies are matured for much longer than for a decade or more slumbering and dark damp warehouses where years of the wood and the cast and the surrounding natural flavors give the color character and just some of its natural flavors. Using the trained palette, the master distiller will decide which is the perfect whiskey and which is the and when is it ready for bottling. And hence, it basically there are many uh, distilleries in Scotland. All of them basically use the same method. 
to make the whiskey. However, there are a lot of local and microclimate preferences. The shape and the size of the stills all contribute to the huge range of flavors and characteristics which vary from region to region. The lowland whiskies are known for the delicate multi citrusy flavors while highland moths malts tend to be more robust with nutty flavors and savanna and of the distillery which is near the sea influences a slight salty taste and it is renowned for its fruity single malts and there's no mistaking that the better it is like uh, there's nothing like a good wonder warming uh, smoky whiskey which a person cannot enjoy and there are a vari variety of tastes from peach flavor to dry and salty so if you are a novice or if you are drinking whiskey for the first time you have to understand that there is an art in not only the service but also the uh, the drinking of a scot of whiskey hope you all enjoyed today's lecture come back again next day for yet another exciting topic please subscribe to our youtube page for more exciting information and also visit us on our facebook page for more updates you can also visit our website at www.ism.co.in.